Hello all and welcome back to Outer Shivering Hero. We are in April, mine's gone up and down once again. We'll do what we've been doing last few episodes, it's just doing a quick showing off to start off what we'll be doing off camera. Also, decided to put all my equipment in this little shed here. So we got the forage wagon, baiter, cedars and that. Well, the planter and cedar is what we bought off camera. This is an MKN Slaughter Terror 12. We bought it second hand. So it does need some work on it. But it's all topped up with seeds already. So I've gone and bought seeds off camera. No, I don't want you. However, so what I'm going to do now is go to the shop. So I am going to take a big risk on buying a certain cultivator, which will maybe. Don't have enough horsepower for, but. I'll give it a try, but whilst we're on the way to the shop, I can show you what we've done off camera, and then we'll go from there. Not gonna happen. Be interested to see what the TLX Phoenix is, because that's just like half metal showing now. But yeah, so John Deere HR410. We have a look here. It is 458 horsepower. We sold the old cultivator and cedar now. We've got new cedar. For the cultivator, there ain't really many options out there. I think the best option for us would be something like. Perhaps, and then not that, we could go slightly bigger. Like this one here, the Horse Joker 12 RT. Realistically, that's going to be our best option at 12.2 meters. 360 horsepower, so we're well within the limits. However, we're going from 12 
meters. Um, actually, I'm an idiot because I was gonna go with this, the John Deere. But I thought, yeah, for some reason I thought it was gonna be like a 60 meter. Yeah, I thought it was a 60 meter cultivator. And that's I got a different machine wrong, but anyway, so that makes our life easier. Should we buy it or lease it? I think we'll just lease it for now. It's gonna be a grand a day and twenty three hundred per work hour. That is fine by me. Yeah, perhaps I should have gone the case, keep that whole red on red, green on green look so the case could do the cultivation. Cause actually how much horsepower does the case have? Three thirteen. Actually no, this how well, actually no it wouldn't fit. Well it would fit it, obviously, but it wouldn't have the horsepower range. So you know what? Scrap that. And that's the thing, we're get, we're getting bigger and when we had like, the case quad track on sale, perhaps we could consider of getting that done. Getting the bolts. Whoops, go off the road so we're hitting cars. But yeah, so plan for today is get the grapes harvested, start doing some of the cultivation work with things like the cultivator and that. I will best leave it to the workers to get done. Yes, technically we don't need to do any cultivation because our dri our cedars and our direct drills, I think. Well, actually, are they? I did not check this. Well, our cedar ain't. Our old one was, and this one, the planter is, so that's a good thing to know. Because in terms of what crops we're doing, a lot of it is perhaps planting stuff now which may not make as much sense. And sorry if you hear a Windows notification there, and the shipping virus update, but things like what crops we need, we're going to need corn. Gonna need that for the bioethanol, which will begin today in this month. And yes, I know it seems like one day per month, but actually, this is basically similar as a month. So, at the moment, now we're in the nearly middle of April, so like around April the 12th, 13th for that. So, I'm gonna keep things as it is, as it's similar in the app because we've got a lot of work to do and I just don't skip through months in the year and my like, crops wise planting crops that's not an issue because if we roll into next year not fair enough that is fine by me so so as you know best place to look is in the map so we need a grass field for silage this is okay Yes, we could extend this field if we wish. However, I just don't. I think it's a nice, it's a nice little field. Don't get me wrong. Similar with like thirty and thirty-one. Nice little fields. Don't get me wrong. However, yeah, we could do with bigger fields. Obviously, we did some work at fields thirty. I think we've got a cultivation contract there, so we'll do that at some point. However, that will be done this month. This will be done. At the moment, because we got one, two, three. Actually, no, probably it's not that. But we'll look about there, four, five, six fields to work on. So that's going to take some time. The grapes, that's going to take quite a bit of time to do as well. But yeah, so crops. Obviously, field six is going to be soybeans. I can't remember which production that's going to need. Thinking something like this second field here, our big 21, 22, 23. We may just heck, for the sake of it, buy field 35. Because if we have a look, is it ready yet to harvest? Or has it even been harvested? Yep, you know what? That's been harvested, so we'll buy that field. It just needs mulching. Also, we'll do. No, not that. Purchase soil information. That is good. 
So yeah, it's all silty clay. We know it's going to be, so gonna, again, this ain't going to be the best field for yieldage. And to be honest, this field ain't much better. That's the, thing, that's the thing we need to focus on is what fields is going to net us the best yieldage. Something like this here down here, I think this could be our corn field because we need corn. Soybeans up here. I'm thinking something like 29 could be oats. This, heck, this is even going to be cotton. Yeah, cotton down here. 19 is still going to be a bit of an air because we uh, was going to be our placeable area. However, that may change with what, what I want to do. Uh, basically, it's just based on topography of the map. Because if we go and have a look here. If we get the drone out. See, pretty flattish. However, it does go up. So the problem is... We can have place walls along here. However, the problem is it rises and falls. I think around about here it starts to rise. Sort of see where it curves up a bit. So if this was going to be a place wall area, pretty much this bit here going across and down is going to be what is useful. Unless we, I don't know, level this up from the road. Get some dirt in, get it across, and level this out. How this would do with the topography of the map would we'll just flatten it and curve it on the edges, get a nice little slope in. But then again, it's even the road level. Yeah. I'll say it's pretty level, but that's the thing. To get all this leveled, it's going to cost us in the best part of the region, quarter of a million. Yes, we're going to make a lot of money at the moment, and we have been making a lot of money, don't get me wrong. I think rarely we've been under 500k, and when we have been under, it's when we bought fields and equipment, so... I was thinking, in terms of what we're going to buy, we don't really need much more stuff. Because, yeah, we've got mulchers, sears, planters, rollers, baiters, force wagon, wind scissors, mowers. We may change that, because I really do want... I did send it back. But I do like to have the crone. That actually makes life so much easier. Believe me, it does. So, yeah, I'm not sure on that. And for a sugar cane, we could do sugar cane. The last thing also we need to do is sugar as well. So I'm thinking, if you know what, heck it. 19 could be. Sugar cane? Yeah, so yeah, heck it. Sugar cane. Corn. Soybeans. What did I say this was? Well, one of these, well, yeah, I can't recall, so yeah. Oh yeah, cotton. What do you think? So it feels up here as well. Oh, I think I think about it as, like, as we go along, we'll think about what crop we need, so. Actually, if we go into productions, we have a look at in the future what we need. So you want to get donuts at some point. We're making everything at the moment. Sugar is a bit of a touchy subject because we did pull in some sugar to get some chocolate in. Or well, to get chocolate produced, so yeah, that was perhaps not the best decision. Especially with how much sugar bean that we had. We want to go with the whole mulch. BGP setup, but uh, again, timing out. So, yeah, we're going to need soybeans and corn. So, the big fields are going to be soybeans and corn. That's going to be without the shadow of a doubt. But, as well, we need. Yeah, I think something like sugar cane and that we could do. Oats as well, we can do it because we can use oats as. The part of grain meal. Actually, what's the best ratio? I'm going to do a bit of some research on that. We may not be planting in this month for not at least the cereal crop. Definitely soybeans and corn aim to get this planted this month. But also, I do want to get. Actually, I want to work on this, like this whole packing facility thing here. 
I really want to get that. So we can make like a million pound pallets. So things like potatoes, we can go with a certain open air greenhouse thing. Olive oil, we can get a tree for that because I've really tried to do all this in the past. And then it goes well with all of them disappearing for whatever weird reason. Corn on its way. Honey, making a lot of it now. Tomatoes, not a problem. Dairy, obviously the soybean is for the soy milk. We could make soy milk now, that's the thing. There's literally so much to do. So you know what I think? We'll go and get the case out. See, the thing that's about this garage is you can't open all the doors at once. I guess it because it all integrates within the framework, so it sort of makes sense, but still kind of sucks, so. Oh man, this needs thin up. It does also need a little service. And before anyone asks, we did fertilize the grass field there, even though I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. No, I'm not going to buy fuel. So we'll have a look. So yeah, 5,000 years left. That's the thing. Sorry about that. Another little cough. Yep, sorry. Yes, sorry about that. But yeah, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to leave the worker on its way of doing its cultivation of the fields. We'll get the mulcher and uh, we'll quickly mulch fields 35. Ain't gonna take too long to do, so it unfolds. It's really dirty, it does need a good clean. But yeah, it's like these fields are so big. On the map, it doesn't seem that big. Yes, are, are they actually even merged? Yeah. Should we get a plough out for that? I think in reality we're going to have to get a plough out. We'll get a small plough. We'll get a small, like, three or five throw plough. Yes, it's a pain in the rear to manage and work with. I'm thinking... Yeah, something like that. A five throw plough. Yeah, only a hundred quid to work with. And that'll make quick work of this, so yeah. We'll quick get this done, and then, yeah. So I'm going to do this work off camera now. And I'll meet you at the shop in a few moments, when we get the Great Harvester. Lease that, lease the trailer for it. And yeah, just to see how much money we can make on that. Obviously some... Yeah, we're still going to keep some of it, but again, volume-wise, I have no idea what we're going to get, so yeah. It's all up in the air, so I'm going to see you in a few moments. So, alright, we, yeah, we got it all done. However, I realise we've got a slight little problem here. See that at the bottom right corner? It needs ploughing. So the whole time you had to plough out, leased it out. So yeah, look at it in detail. So our second field here needs ploughing. Part of this needs ploughing. The grass field needs ploughing. So you know what? Heck it, we're going to plough that up. Me do a little field extension. Might as well whilst we're doing that. That needs doing, that needs doing. And anything else of our fields. Nope, so we're going to need a bigger plough. So if we go to ploughs, borrow you again. This is such a beast of a machine. The case could just about manage it. It is like a couple of horsepower down, requires 320. So yeah, we're literally 7 horsepower short, so 7 ponies missing from the stable, so yeah. So hopefully I can manage it fine. So I'm going to get us up again. I'm going to do the perimeters. 
bring folks back, go to the shop, get the grapes and stuff, and then yeah, we'll go and get the grapes. since like 2, 3 o'clock. I thought, yeah, get the plow and get all the cultivation started now and then, yeah, so we may have just had a quick time lapse off me doing that. I did record some bits of that, so I hope you enjoy that. I did take out the harvester, leased it. So if you go to what we've got leased out. So we've got that and the trailer. And if I turn this on, turn on the harvester, I'm getting nothing that says we can't, well, we still can harvest in the rain. There's nothing that says about it affecting crop yieldage. And I'm not sure whether or not should we continue on this and get harvested or wait until the rain stops. But when will the rain stop? That's the thing. Go up to the weather. Rain's going to stop at midnight and then tomorrow it is nice and sunny so you know what I'm gonna take a gamble next episode we will be harvesting the grapes I'm still gonna take the risk of having the crop yields affected and now you just got so many vines we could just take a little loss if there is a loss okay they may not be even lost harvesting grapes in the rain and that but I don't wanna risk it so to here we've leased out the Amazon wherever it's called the Amazon ZGTS 10001 and that is basically the lime spreader and yeah we lime in the war fields most of them do not require much work because it's only lost like 0.15 pH in that so yeah, 0.15 to 0.3 pH there are little strips here by the grass field that we may go over again but all these fields up here have been lined it's just these two that needs to lime in so yeah actually bear with me a sec here sorry about that um, just had to turn the fan off because yep yeah, here in the UK we've got another little heat wave on and it has fans on 
especially with running the PlayStation 4 uh, with the PC on as well. Whilst I record stuff, I has it on, you know, when I do the record segments, I got the PC. Catch up on some things here and there. But yes, I had to turn the PC off. There we go. Okay, missed a little bit there. That is not to worry about. Anyway, what we've got over here... Is that the case? It is, so we'll return the disc hours. We did at least have a second one. So we'll return you, 3.4 hours. And we'll return you with 0.8 of an hour, 0.7 of an hour on. So yeah, we saved 2,000 French there in lease and fees of our usage. But I still think it costs like 4 grand to lease, so technically we lost some money on that. We could just stick with one, but I just want to get it done quicker. Because it was taking a while to get all the fields cultivated. Yes, with the ploughing, we didn't have to do it. We did it because some fields needed ploughing. I uh, wasn't sure about how it works with precision farming, so I thought, heck it, just cultivate all the fields. And but things like fields 19 and our new big fields, you can see pH is very bad, so spent quite a bit of money on liming that, so we're going to recuperate some of that money by selling a bulk little silage. <laughs> So yeah, we did these out the two lizard underbellies and one of the you know, like tandem hitches thing. So we should get around just over a hundred grand for this, I think. Yeah, around a hundred grand all in all. So we'll undo the first one. I think it's like over 300,000 litres, but still, we've already got so quite a bit of silage. Nothing officially stored in our silos. But down here, we've got how much? 350,000 at the field productions factory. Also, we can make money from the sludge fertilizer. I think that's what we'll do next. So, 44,700. So. Not too bad of a little hole there. Next we'll sell you. And then lastly we'll empty the TLX tipper. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly get this all done. And I'll see you folks in a second here once we get the last off the slidage sold. And there we go. So that is 120 ish grand, give or take, we've just earned there. Um, what did we just clip on? Absolutely no idea. What's it we're hitting on? We've cleared the lamppost, surely. I was thinking run with a tandem train. Oh, really? Small little itty bitty flower pot. And whoever's honking, stop it. Come on. Right, fine, we'll go this way, knock over the sign. the TX tipper there for the moment. <laughs> we'll go and collect that in a few moments. Turn traffic back on. But yeah, so really want to get stuff sort of placing down, but so which one we will go into the left side. Let's go with fertilizer. 
And we'll get more because we do have some manure that with cows and that. And it's going to net us more than enough to... Actually, how much manure have we got? We've got 7,000 years of all here. And we'll take it to the cotton plant. Not the cotton plant, the spinner at some point, but... How much manure have we got? 3,800 litres, so that... At the moment, with Nessa's so manure that will, yeah, so half of that, so yeah, not a lot of fertilizer, but I always get more manure in at some point. Okay, we are done. I forgot we left the grain cart over here. Whoopsie. Go back over to you. Actually, we could always buy manure now. In there is an opportunity to buy manure, but it's not really the point now. So, actually, what I think it's time, Hecky. I've been beating around it, so let's go and get the ethanol plant in. Go over here. Where is it to? There we go. So now, where to place it? That's going to be the question. I want it somewhere like that, perhaps. Somewhere like that. Worst case scenario, of course, cut this tree down here and create another little road path in. Have to get permission from the local authority, but I don't again see that being a huge issue for us, so. You know what? I think something more like that would be nice and ideal, so. Make sure it doesn't run into the field. It does not. And some. What did the part of the field suddenly? I actually have no idea why, but. Sorry. <laughs> Does this sort of look there? It's all good. So, in theory, this should all work out well for us. If we go down here, so. We can get ethanol and diesel. Corn and diesel will be from soybeans. We'll get 200 in and they get split down to 50% in fuel. Well, core of it's fuel, and three quarters of it is either corn gluten meal or soybean meal. And with the corn and gluten, well, sorry, yeah, corn gluten and soybean meal that can be used to make animal food if we wish to desire that. Actually, I should put the covers on to yeah, protect. And you know what? Yeah, we need to reshape this out a bit. Perhaps we could get away with just short trimming part of the fields here. So yeah, so the field curves around. So I the field that curves around here. That goes up to here. And then curves back around. So then we've got a bit of access way so we can have stuff coming in this way. But this isn't going to be a major route. This is going to be just a little diverge for we can put stuff in and that. Well, a nice row that curves around. And meets around about here, I think. Because I do want to place some more stuff down. Because things like. Not the green mill, it's somewhere like the food factory. I'll have to have that place down at somewhere. Again, I think. There, let's say. Then we need the packing facility. 
I could go somewhere like that. I see that's very expensive at 300 grand, but it's going to be worth it. For what we could get in potential, it is going to be worth it. However, we will need grain meal and sugar meal as well. And we cannot fit all that here, so again, our little place where by field 19 is perhaps the best option. Or we flatten all this out, this little mini field here, and we just use this as a placeable area, but again, it's sort of disrupting the the local community already they've got like one two big plants here so yeah there's a few options for us with that yeah with that but you know what let's see this over to the styrofoam container and let's get some extra money in to cover the cost of placing that down the count I was on nine nine all the time shouted so you took control but now I'm gone bye bye bring the fire you took something beautiful and made it something cruel I saw that I get from you you're so delusional now watch me take control I've been running my Actually, I changed my mind. This field here, our biggest field, is going to be corn. That is because corn can be used to get ethanol, and ethanol sells a lot better than diesel. So, so what we're just going to do? We lease out a seed tanker or seed auger, which realise we didn't have to because we could just borrow money. Well, send money to the shop, and we could borrow their lorry and their. But pretty much like this, it's got a seed runner, but rather than it being on wheels, it's on a bed of a truck. So yeah, that is on its way now. And the downside, this all needs to be rolled. And as you can see, we've already got weeds growing in certain parts, so... Actually, on this field here, we need to roll tonight. So that's the only downside. Otherwise, it'll start growing. And, yeah, so... We'll get the rolling done tonight. But also, you can see, we did some working out. And now, we're at 1.15 million. And this is after buying a bunch of seeds and other little bits. Also, I've put in 16... Thousand liters of soybeans that we had in to the bioethanol plant, and if we have a look here, that is churning out very well. Four thousand liters of soybean meal already. However, I've gone and also bought fifty thousand liters, or what, fifty thousand two hundred fifteen liters of corn maize. This was very cheap. This costed about. 
I think it was in the realm of a thousand pounds for five thousand years. And the only reason why we got it so cheap is pretty much because it's a low quality crop. Apparently when we bought it from the farmers I think who was it? Oh, it feels like Field eighteen they owned it. Yeah, they owned Field eighteen, they said they had corn. The quality wasn't great to be used as a like, pretty much cereal now. They could have used it as potential feed for the animals, but they did sort of go down that route. They didn't have the facilities to get signage out of it, so they said could buy it on the cheap how we could do as of what we need for it. And yes, even though it's low quality corn in terms of for cereal, it's still viable to make some fuel. So yeah, we put some more lights in. We did do the road to the shopping app. By the time I was going to get around doing it, it was dark, so we'll do that tomorrow in the next month. But yeah, here I am really happy of how this is shaped out. Absolutely gorgeous. So it's still a bit bumpy in there in places, but that's just one of the things we've got to deal with. Perhaps, yeah, like the location, like this bit here is a bit meh. Especially with the bumps and divots and that. Ooh. Yeah, it is really slow at stopping. There's got so much weight behind it. So I'm there we go. Can't see the grate. That is a problem for us. There we go, that is going in. Oh, delicious corn. Yum, 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 yum. So corn is going in, and uh, we should start getting some ethanol, and yes we are. That is still running. Didn't realise how long it will take for it to unload, but hey, it sort of makes sense. I'm not in a rush to get unloaded. Get the last bit of corn in. And that is nine on fifty thousand years in there. I'd say if we just advance time a little bit. And just already look at that. Four thousand years of ethanol, five thousand. We've run out of soybeans, and that's pretty much that for the soybeans. Yeah, I am absolutely loving that. This is going to be really worth it for us. And the rain also should stop around about now. And is there anything in the used market to your interest? Nope, not really. Any contracts? Bailing? Not interested in that. So just after a matter of a couple of hours, we've got 13,000 litres of ethanol. And that's that. That's, that's corn done. So just a matter of a few hours, so that's been fully processed. And how is the Schneider doing? Doing well. That's pretty much empty now. Chocolate still going. Night episode or so, perhaps. But in terms of what we've got at least out, uh, nothing needs returning. I'll, I'm going to keep the cedar because you know what? We can use his money. And crap. 
Hopefully we didn't. Ah, yep. Yeah. That is what I feared. I forgot to... Balls. In my excitement to get everything done, corn is starting to grow. Perhaps if it's in its first stage we can roll over it. I really hope so, otherwise we're not necessarily screwed. But we'll just use that bit of potential yield bonus. So yeah, of course it needs fertilizer, nitrogen is really bad, it needs 160 kilograms. But yeah, balls. But on that note, that is where we're going to leave it for today, so... I really hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope everyone has a stay. But for now, just be far my voice stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon. As you can be, for selling the diesel and ethanol in this month.